English Grammar Complete Grammar for All Purposes by Pravin Kendale Now let's learn parts of speech in detail. Nouns Nouns are the naming words and are classified into five kinds. We can classify nouns in many ways. Let's discuss all of them one by one. A proper noun. The name of a particular person animals or place is called as a proper noun. As a proper noun points only to a particular name to distinguish it from other nouns of the same kind it is written always with an initial capital letter. For example, Arjun was the best archer. Karna was a noble man. B. Common noun. A name given in common to every person or thing of the same class is called as a common noun. For example, Amravati is a good city. He is a smart boy. C. Collective noun. The name of a number of persons or things taken together and spoken of as whole is called as a collective noun. For example, a company of soldiers was advancing fast. A bunch of keys is in his pocket. Dematerial noun. The nouns that refer to materials of which things can be made are called as material nouns. For example, this chain is made of gold. This house is built of bricks. E abstract noun. The name of a quality a state of mind or a stage of life is called as an abstract noun. For example, kindness is a virtue. Happiness is everyone's dream. Childhood is the happiest stage of one's life. Now let's discuss countable slash uncountable nouns. The nouns can also be classified as countable slash uncountable nouns. Countable nouns equals names of people places things that can be counted are called as countable nouns. For example, pen boy brick book mobile etc. Uncountable nouns equals names of people places things that can't be counted are called as uncountable nouns. For example, water, milk, sugar, honesty, etc. Uncountable nouns are of seven types. A things which are considered in mass or quantity and not in numbers. For example, sand, sugar, hair, dust, etc. B materials wood, cloth, silver, gold, iron, etc. C liquids water, milk, oil, ink, honey, etc. D gases steam, mist, nitrogen, air, etc. E. Natural phenomena, heat, cold, electricity, lightning, etc. F. Abstract nouns. Stages of life states of mind qualities processes actions ideas etc. Childhood honesty courage happiness freedom attention enjoyment. Exceptions joy sorrows dreams miseries etc. G. Branches of learning economics, mathematics, politics, etc. Let's know what is gender. Just like living beings are of either the male or the female sex, the nouns are of, denote, one of the four genders, equals sex. A masculine gender, a noun that denotes male sex, is called as of masculine gender. For example, boy, lion, tiger bull, dog, etc. B. Feminine gender, a noun that denotes female sex is called as of feminine gender. For example, girl, lioness, tigress, cow, bitch, etc. C. Common gender, a noun that denotes a male sex or a female sex is called as of common gender. For example, child, servant, enemy, neighbor, cousin, pupil, student, friend, etc. D. Neuter gender, a noun that denotes neither a male sex nor a female sex is called as of neuter gender. For example, pen, pencil, books, etc. Now let's discuss 
ways of forming feminine of nouns. One by using an entirely different word. Masculine feminine. Bachelor maid slash spinster. Boy girl. Brother sister. Buck doe. Bull slash ox cow. Bullock heifer. Hard row. Horse mare. Husband wife. Lord lady. Man woman. King queen. Monk nun. Cock hen. Colt filly. Dog bitch. Drake duck. Drone bee. Earl countess. Father mother. Gander goose. Gentleman lady. Nephew niece. Papa mama. Ram you. Sir madam. Son daughter. Stag hind. Uncle aunt. Wizard witch. Two by adding a syllable, sine trixa etc. Masculine feminine. Author authoress. Baron baroness. Count countess. Giant giantess. Heir heiress. Host hostess. Jew Jewess. Lion lioness. Manager manageress. Mayor mayoress. Patron patroness. Peer Pyrrhus Priest Priestess Poet Poetess Prophet Prophetess Shepherd Shepherdess Steward Stewardess Viscount Viscountess Note, in the following examples S is added after dropping the vowel of the masculine ending. Actor Actress Benefactor Benefactress Conductor Conductress Enchanter Enchantress Founder Foundress Negro Negress Abbot Abbess Duke Duchess Emperor Empress Preceptor Preceptress Prince Princess Songster Songstress Tempter Temptress Scamster Scamstress Tiger Tigress Traitor Traitress Waiter Waitress Master Mistress Murderer Murderess Sorcerer Sorceress Note, the suffix s is the commonest suffix used to form feminine nouns from the masculine and is the only one which we now use in forming a new feminine noun. Hero Heroine Testator Testatrix Tsar Tsarina Sultan Sultana Senior Senora Fox Vixen. 3. By placing a word before or after. Grandfather Grandmother. Great Uncle Great Aunt. Manservant Maid Servant. Landlord Landlady. Milk Man Milk Woman. Peacock Peahen. Salesman Saleswoman. Washer Man Washer Woman. Now let's discuss number. Nouns can also be classified as singular number and plural number. Singular number equals a noun that denotes only one, single, person or thing is said to be in singular number. For example, boy, woman, table, book, etc. Plural number equals a noun that denotes more than one person or thing is said to be in plural number. For example, boys, women, tables, books, etc. Rules of making plurals 1. The plural of nouns is generally formed by adding s to the singular. Boy boys pen pens girl girls. Desk desks book books cow cows. 2. In nouns ending in sshch, soft, or x form the plural by adding es to the singular. Class classes brush brushes branch branches. Kiss kisses match matches tax taxes. Dish dishes watch watches box boxes. 3. Most nouns ending in o also form the plural by adding es to the singular. Buffalo buffaloes potato potatoes negro negroes. Mango mangoes cargo cargoes volcano volcanoes. Hero heroes echo echoes. For a few nouns ending in O merely add S. 
Dynamo Dynamos Canto Cantos Piano Pianos Kilo Kilos Solo Solos Memento Mementos Photo Photos Logo Logos Ratio Ratios Quarto Quartos Stereo Stereos Commando Commandos Five nouns ending in Y preceded by a consonant form their plural by changing Y into I and adding ES. Baby babies lady ladies army armies. Story stories city cities pony ponies. Six the following nouns ending in F or FE form their plural by changing F or FE into V and adding ES. Thief, thieves life lives loaf loaves. Half halves sheaf sheaves wife wives. Calf calves knife knives elf elves Wolf wolves leaf leaves shelf shelves Self selves The nouns dwarf wharf hoof and scarf take either s or ves in the plural Dwarfs or dwarves wharfs or wharves Hoofs or hoofs scarfs or scarves Other words ending in f or fe add s Chief, chief safe, safes Proof Proofs handkerchief, handkerchiefs. Seven a few nouns form their plural by changing the inside vowel of the singular. Man men woman women foot feet. Tooth teeth goose geese mouse mice louse lice. The plural of fish is fish or fishes the form fishes is less usual. Eight there are a few nouns that form their plural by adding n to the singular. Ox oxen child children. 9. Some nouns have the singular and the plural alike. Swine, sheep, deer, cod, trout, salmon, aircraft, spacecraft, series, species, pair, dozen, score, gross, hundred, thousand. 10. Some nouns are used only in the plural. A. Names of certain articles of dress. Trousers, drawers, breeches, jeans, tights, shorts, pajamas. B. Names of instruments which have two parts forming a kind of pair. Bellows, scissors, tongs, pincers, spectacles. See certain other nouns. Annals, thanks, proceeds, tidings, environs, nuptials, obsequies, assets, chattels. 11. Some nouns originally singular are now generally used in the plural. Alms, riches, eaves. 12. The following nouns look plural but are in fact singular. A. Names of subjects. Mathematics, physics electronics, etc. B. The word news. C. Names of some common diseases. Measles, mumps, rickets. D. Names of some games. Billiards, drafts. E. Means is used either as singular or plural but when it has the meaning of wealth it is always plural. 13. Certain collective nouns though singular in form are always used as plurals. Poultry, cattle, vermin, people, gentry. Note equals as a common noun people means a nation and is used in both singular and plural. The Japanese are a hard-working people. There are many different peoples in Europe. 14. A compound noun generally forms its plural by adding s to the principal word. Singular plural. Commander-in-chief commanders-in-chief. Coat of mail, coats of mail. Son in law, sons in law. Daughter in law, daughters in law. Stepson, stepsons. Stepdaughter, stepdaughters. Maid servant, maid servants. Manservant, men servant. Passer by, passers by. Looker on, lookers on. Man of war, men of war. Note. We say spoonfuls and handfuls because spoonful and handful are regarded as one word. Note that the proper nouns Brahman and Musulman are not compounds of man, therefore their plurals are Brahmins and Musulmans. 15. Many nouns taken from foreign languages keep their original plural form. From Latin. Eratum erata formula formulae or formulas. Index indices memorandum memoranda. Radius radii terminus termini or terminuses. From Greek. Axis axis parenthesis, parenthesis. Crisis crises hypothesis hypotheses. Basis basis phenomenon phenomena.
Analysis Analyses Criterion Criteria From Italian Bandit Banditi or Bandits From French Madame, 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 Monsieur Messers From Hebrew Cherub Cherubim, Cherubs, Seraph Seraphim, or Seraphs 16 Some nouns have two forms for the plural each with a somewhat different meaning Singular plural Brother brothers equals sons of the same parent Brethren equals members of a Society or a community Cloth cloths equals kinds Or pieces of cloth Clothes equals Garments Die dies equals stamps For coining Dice equals small Cubes used in Games Index indexes equals Tables of contents To books Indices equals signs used in algebra Penny pennies equals Number of coins Pence equals amount in value 17 Some nouns have two meanings in the singular but only one in the plural Singular plural Light, radiance lights, lamps A lamp People, nation peoples, nations Men and women Powder, dust Powders Doses of medicine A dose of medicine In fine grains like dust Practice, habit practices, habits exercise of a profession 18 Some nouns have one meaning in the singular two in the plural Singular plural Color hue Colors hues The flag of regiment Custom habit Customs habits Duties levied on imports Effect result Effects results Property Manner method Manners methods Correct behavior Moral a moral lesson Morals moral lessons Conduct Number a quantity Numbers quantities Verses Pain suffering Pain sufferings Care exertion Premise proposition Premises propositions Buildings Quarter fourth part Quarters fourth parts Lodgings Spectacle a sight Spectacle sights Eyeglasses Ground earth Grounds enclosed Land attached to house 19 Some nouns have different meanings in the singular and the plural Singular plural Advice, counsel Advices, information Air, atmosphere Airs, affected Manners Good, benefit well-being Goods Merchandise Compass, extent range compasses An Instrument for Drawing circles Respect, regard respects Compliments Physic, medicine physics, natural Science Iron, a kind or metal irons, fetters Force, strength forces, troops. Twenty letters figures and other symbols are made plural by adding as apostrophe and s. There are more e's than a's in this page. Dot your i's and cross your t's. Twenty-one it is usual to say. The Miss Smiths, singular Miss Smith. Twenty-two abstract nouns have no plural they are uncountables. Hope, charity love, kindness. When such words do appear in the plural they are used as countables. Provocations equals instances or cases of provocation. Kindnesses equals acts of kindness. Names of substances are also uncountables and are not therefore used in the plural. Copper, iron, tin, wood. 
when such nouns are used in the plural they become countables with changed meanings. Coppers equals copper coins irons equals fetters. Tins equals cans made of tin woods equals forests. Let's talk about Noun in apposition. When a noun follows another to describe it the noun which follows is said to be in apposition to the noun which comes before it. For example, Shiva he the great warrior was a common man. Yesterday I met Mohan RPM. Main uses of nouns. One subject of a sentence equals the subject tells who slash what of the action denoted by the verb if placed before the verb. For example, Mona cooked food. Who cooked? All the chairs were beautiful. What was beautiful? To complement. A, a direct object of a verb equals used after the verb equals tells what of the action denoted by the verb. For example, Madhub broke a glass. She asked many questions. B an indirect object of a verb equals used after the verb equals tells to whom of the action denoted by the verb. For example, Tata gave him an offer. She asked me a question. See a complement of a subject equals used after a linking verb equals rename slash explains the subject. For example, Hridik is a good dancer. Priyanka was our guide. D a complement of an object equals used after a direct object equals rename slash explains the object. For example, people named him an expert. Note, used with limited verb equals call name consider a point think designate elect. 3. An object of a preposition equals used after the preposition equals it ends a preposition phrase and generally tells whom or what of preposition. For example, pretty is in the garden, in what? The books are on the table, on what? For an appositive equals used after but close to a noun and renames or further identifies that noun. For example AJ my assistant will tell you everything. Roshani our madam taught some interesting things today. 5. Direct address equals it names a person the speaker is speaking to. For example Mahesh where are you going? Sushant come to Z club. 1. Formation of nouns. Nouns can be formed in various ways. 1. By adding ants to the word. For example. Perform, performance. Discord discordance. Assist, assistance. Convey, conveyance. 2. With words ending in E equals by deleting E adding ants. For example. Resemble resemblance. Endure, endurance. Insure, insurance. Assure, assurance. Exceptions for ants. Remit, remittance. Enter, entrance. Maintain maintenance. Comply, compliance. 3. With words ending in E by substituting ing for E. For example. Like, liking. Rule, ruling. Place, placing. Drive, driving. Care, caring. Lodge, lodging. 4. By adding ing to the word. For example, bank, banking, call, calling, learn, learning, pass, passing, greet, greeting, read, reading, hear, hearing. 5. By adding ion to the word. For example, elect, election, adopt, adoption, confess, Confession Convict, conviction Deduct, deduction 6. By adding re to the word For example Forge, forgery Slave, slavery Nurse, nursery Brave, bravery Bribe, bribery 7. By adding meant to the word For example Arrange, arrangement. 
encourage, encouragement. Employ, employment. Adjust, adjustment. Advertise, advertisement. Appoint, appointment. Advance, advancement. Improve, improvement. 8. By adding ity to the adjective. For example, rapid, rapidity. Mental, mentality. Cordial, cordiality. Immortal, immortality. Similar, similarity. Punctual, punctuality. Superior, superiority. 9. By adding ism to the word. For example, Cynic, cynicism. National, nationalism. Ego, egoism. Ideal, idealism. Fatal, fatalism. 10. By adding ness to the adjective. For example, near, nearness. Shy, shyness. Rude, rudeness. Clever, cleverness. Neat, neatness. Words ending in Y equals delete Y and add in S. For example, lazy, laziness. Heavy, heaviness. Friendly, friendliness. Gloomy, gloominess. 11 words ending in ISE equals by substituting ism for ISE. For example, criticize equals criticism. 12 words ending in E equals by substituting ITY for E. For example, mature equals maturity. Hostile, hostility. Adverse, adversity. Extreme, extremity. 13 words ending in E equals by substituting ION for E. For example, promote, promotion. Execute, execution. Precise, precision. Confuse, confusion. Supervise, supervision. 14 by adding hood to the word. For example, woman, womanhood. Brother, brotherhood. Child, childhood. Boy, boyhood. Man, manhood. Mother, motherhood. 15 by adding dom to the word. For example, king equals kingdom. Bore equals boredom. 16 verbs ending in phi equals by substitution, ication. For example, modify equals modification. Pacify equals pacification. Justify equals justification. Verify equals verification. Classify equals classification. 17 verbs ending in E equals by substituting Asian for E. For example, examine equals examination. Declare equals declaration. Depute equals deputation. Console equals consolation. Expire equals expiration. 18 verbs ending in 8 equals by substituting Asian for 8. For example, circulate equals circulation, associate equals association, motivate equals motivation, decorate equals decoration, graduate equals graduation, rotate equals rotation, dedicate equals dedication, isolate equals isolation. 19 by adding ation to the verb. For example, Tempt equals temptation. Exploit equals exploitation. Confirm equals confirmation. Alter equals alteration. Reform equals reformation. Relax equals relaxation. 20 words ending in E equals by substituting L for E. For example, Arrive equals arrival. Approve equals approval. Propose equals proposal. Remove equals removal. 21 by adding al to the word. For example, rent equals rental. Profession equals professional. 
betray equals betrayal. 22 by adding age to the word. For example, pack equals package, bond equals bandage, band equals bandage, cover equals coverage. 23 by adding y to the word. For example, modest equals modesty, honest equals honesty, beggar equals beggary, deliver equals delivery. 24 by adding ship to the word. For example, partner equals partnership, lord equals lordship, director equals directorship, scholar equals scholarship, relation equals relationship. 25 words ending in T equals by substituting CE for T. For example, silent equals silence, present equals presence, evident equals evidence. Absent equals absence. Elegant equals elegance. Important equals importance. Prudent equals prudence. 26 words ending in T by substituting psi for T. For example, fluent equals fluency. Idiot equals idiocy. Decent equals decency. Current equals currency. Agent equals agency. Accountant equals accountancy. Efficient equals efficiency. Rules for correct use of nouns. 1. A proper noun becomes a common noun when it is used in the plural form or when an article is placed before it. Examples. There are five Gandhis in our college. Vijay Kumar is the Milton of your college. Kalidas is the Shakespeare of India. 2. A collective noun takes a singular verb when the whole group is considered as one unit. Examples The committee consists of five members. The family living next door has come from Madras. Note, if we refer to the members of the committee or family separately the collective noun takes a plural verb but it, the collective noun, remains singular in form. For example, the committee have taken their seats. 3. An abstract noun can also be used as a common noun by placing an article before it. Examples Regini is a beauty, a beautiful girl. 4. An abstract noun can also be used in the sense of a collective noun when as abstract noun is used as a collective noun it takes a plural verb. Examples Youth are the pillars of the nation. Collection noun 5. When a material noun denotes a mass of matter it is not used in the plural form. Examples Their house is built of bricks and stones. Incorrect. Their house is built of brick and stone. Correct. 6. Some nouns have the same form for the plural as well as for the singular. The following are some nouns that belong to this category. Examples Sheep, species, deer, aircraft, offspring, yoke, space, craft, salmon, etc. 7. Some nouns are used in the singular only the following are some nouns that belong to this category. Examples Advice, corn, grain, justice, clothing, information, poetry, scenery, machinery, hair, etc. Note Advice is the noun form and advise is the verb form. The advice of the doctor is that I should not smoke. Noun The doctor advised me not to smoke. Verb Similarly practice is noun and practice is verb. 8. There are some nouns which are used only in the plural form. Examples Scissors, trousers, bowels, genitals, proceeds, nuptials, doldrums, shears, pantaloons, intestines, gymnastics, riches, outskirts, earnings, spectacles, shorts, biceps, premises, thanks, gallows. 9. Some nouns are apparently plural in form but are singular in use. Examples News, Economics, Physics, 
measles, mumps, ethics. Note, summons is singular and summonses is plural. 10. The following nouns are always used in plural. Cattle, police, people, vermin, poultry. 11. When a plural noun denotes a specific amount, length, weight, quantity, etc. considered as a whole the verb must be in the singular form. Examples 10,000 rupees is a large amount. 6 kilometers is not a long distance for a runner like you. 12. Inanimate objects, lifeless objects, which are remarkable for beauty, gentleness, gracefulness, tenderness, weakness and so on are treated as feminine gender. Examples The moon, the earth, spring, virtue, peace, charity, fame, nature, hope, justice, mercy, pity, fortune, truth, victory, definition, eat, modesty, liberty, etc. Note, poets refer to them as feminine gender. 13 inanimate things which are known for strength, courage, violence, superiority and so forth are treated as masculine. Examples The sun, death, summer, winter, war, anger, fear, thunder, etc. Note a. The possessive case of nouns is formed when we put s to the noun, apostrophe s. Examples The girl's dress The boy's pen b. The possessive case is used with the nouns of living things but not with inanimate objects. Table's leg Incorrect Leg of the table Correct c. The possessive is used with the names of personified objects. Death's icy hands. 14. When the noun is plural and ends in s, the possessive case is formed by adding only an apostrophe, after s. Examples Girls' hostel. Birds' nests. 15. When the noun is plural but does not end in s, the possessive case is formed by adding s. Examples Men's club. Children's park. Women's Day 16. When a noun or a title consists of several words the possessive case is formed by adding s to the last word. Examples The Prime Minister of India's speech The King of Bhutan's visit to India 17. When two or more proper nouns are joined by and and a common possession is meant the possessive case will be formed by adding s to the last noun. Examples Amar and Kumar's house is really beautiful. Note, this sentence denotes that the house belongs to both Amar and Kumar. 18. When there are two nouns in apposition the possessive case will be formed by adding, s, to the second noun. Examples A penicillin Fleming's discovery has saved the lives of many people. B. Moen the professor's son is very intelligent. 19. The possessive case of a compound noun will be formed by adding, s, to the last word. Examples Sister-in-law's house Commander-in-chief's office 20. If the last syllable of a singular noun ends in s or c and the noun is followed by the word sake the possessive case of the noun will be formed by adding, only. Examples For goodness sake for justice sake for conscience sake for Jesus sake.